Greetings everyone, Louis Farm Guy here with a new mod test for a Wednesday, June the 29th, and this is the Animal Barn Pack by Alien Jim. This is for all platforms, and I'm starting up here because there's four animal barns in this package, and we will look at them each individually and go over them. This is a 23.42 megabytes to download. I will talk about the slots as we uh, consider each one. So the first one we're going to look at is the Chicken Coop 360. Uh, this is 20 slots. You will find it under animals and chickens, of course. And what is nice now uh, since the update, I do believe, uh, it tells you the animal barn pack in your in the construction menu now which ones are mods and which ones aren't and what kind of what mod it is fifteen thousand dollars to purchase there are two to choose from you have the old wooden style and you have the uh, red newer red style so uh, what do we have nine thousand liters of food it holds three hundred and sixty chickens and uh, yes, uh, we will look that up in our uh, animal menu. There it is. Um, it takes a, it holds a standard food, uh, wheat, barley, sorghum. And uh, there we are. So we're going to run that ahead and look at that. The next one is the sheep. Uh, each one of these has two, two options. So again, animals, sheep. And there it is, $35,000. Ooh, here it is up here. And of course, the two different styles. You have the wooden, red, wood, uh, red uh, colored one, and you have the old style wooden one. Let's see, the red one has, yes, yeah, same kind of trees. So some decoration. This, uh, the sheep is 28 slots. Now this one has a few. Uh, we have the uh, by uh, the the buy trigger here. Oh, the chickens had the buy trigger right on the outside there. We'll show the food triggers and so forth once we go forward. And um, so we have a nice little pasture here where the sheepies hang out. Uh, does any of these other... Yeah, we have a small gate here. Those all open. This opens. So it has all these runways and things for the, the door opens here. We have also... Oh, I'm, I'm running around too much. Gate, yes, gates, lots of gates in here. Yes, gates, gates everywhere. Uh, big door that opens here. We have also hide the markers. So that's going to hide all those markers. I prefer to have them on because I can never remember where they are. We have a light switch in here, right here. Turns the lights on inside. Very nice. And over top of the um, feed area here. I, one thing I noticed I didn't notice before, which was maybe I'm just a little bit dense. Here's a food. Uh, it's a very generous food area. When I put food in, a bunch of the sheep came running over to feed. Um, same, same with the water. Um, that was kind of... A, it happened with the pigs too. I put put food in there and it all came running over to the food trough. So I don't know if that's something new. Is that something just for these? Anyways, I thought it'd be interesting to note. Uh, grass. This one takes grass. It takes uh, 11,500 liters of grass and 6,500 liters of water. It holds 65 sheep. Moving on to the pigs. Here's the pigs. Uh, again, it is available in uh, in the animals and pigs. And there it is, $30,000. You get the red one or the old uh, style wooden one. Um, 270 pigs, I do believe. Uh, pigs, yes, 270 pigs. Again, we have... Uh, the trigger is here for the animal buying the buying and selling if you wish to do that or you can use a trailer to load and unload of course 
slurry triggers here we're going to test out, out once they produce some slurry this one here is the straw trigger so you just have to drive in like so you see the tracks those are my tracks uh, you don't have to back in here or anything or you could back back in and the trigger is quite generous uh, light switch here as well lights up here and in the feed area food here 85,000 uh, liters of food and water is uh, 18,000 we'll look at that in our menu here see that is 18,000 liters of water 45,000 liters of straw and 85,000 uh, total liters of food I put pig food in but base food you can see it's it's the standard food you would feed pigs nothing uh, unusual right moving on to the cow pasture or the cow barn now there is one thing I want to try I filled up the food in the straw but there is also a trigger here that I don't know what's for because I filled everything and um, so here's the straw trigger again there is a light here again of course a light also the hide the markers is right here food triggers here the cows also did come over when I put food in and water water triggers here uh, the uh, I have placed a manure pit beside both the cow barn and the pig barn and right over here is going to be your milk area we're going to test that too once they start producing milk and the slurry pit there right so and capacities uh 80 cows of are is the capacity water is 28,000 liters straw 38,000 liters and tmr or a mix or, or a combination of tmr hay and grass up to 60,000 liters right okay so now we are going to uh, go ahead till the next day and we're going to see where our levels are at and what's happening and we're going to see we're going to see try to figure out what this is for once it looks like tea looks like food usually they put food in there hmm. but we will does this one have a this one doesn't have a trigger on it Yes, anyways, we're going to sleep a day, and we're going to come back. See you oh, I did forget to mention the slot count for the pigs is 34, and the cows is 33. So, yes, just so you're aware of that, um, a little bit high on the slot count, uh, but there's lots of, uh, lots of extra decorations and so forth. Now... Uh, upkeep, uh, cow barn, $180 a day, pig barn, $120 a day, sheep barn, $120 a day, chicken coop, a hundred or sorry, $80 per day, right? Okay, now let's see here. Productivity. So the cows have um, eaten about a third of their food, and uh, the water is still really good. Uh, pigs have. Uh, hardly eaten any food and hardly used any water that's odd hmm um same with the sheep that's maybe a quarter of the food and so the capacities for food are good as we can see here uh, the cows have actually eaten more of their food um in total than the other the other barns right so uh does it show slurry no we don't show slurry here in the in the menus we're gonna have to go look at it uh when we go look at the barn right so that's gonna be kind of difficult to see what the maximum slurry capacity is because it doesn't show show it so here's the water trigger right here as you can see water no problem do we have manure yes look at that we have manure very good 
Now the sheep also take water, as you can see. We're going to go over there and show you that. Here's the water trigger for the pigs. Very generous area there. They didn't take much. They didn't drink much, actually. Let's just uh, have a quick look, see at our field info here for slurry. Uh, 8,625 liters. That's what it's showing. So, uh, do we have to lift the lid or anything? Nope. Okay, so let's just go show you one last thing here. And here's the water for the pigs. Ooh, it didn't take much either. Right, okay, so. Let's hop into our uh, straw. And I will show you where the straw... Uh, oh, I'm going to see if that... Um, first of all, I'm going to see if this um, thing takes straw in the middle or what it, what it takes. I will show you the straw trigger here. So that's the straw trigger. Right, and... Excuse me, Mr. Cow. I don't think... Oh, it's a, there is room in here, but not a lot of room. Okay, like I'm trying to turn around a golf cart in a in a tunnel. So definitely not. Okay, that's definitely not. Definitely not. Definitely not. All right. So I will show you the straw trigger. If you oh, oh camera collisions. What am I stuck on? Oh dear. Get out of there. Okay. Yikes. So, if you don't want to drive through, the straw trigger is pretty generous like there, but then if you have a tipper, you're not going to be able to tip it. Right. Okay. So, let's get rid of the straw and get a little bit of TMR and see what that... Um, that's pretty much the only thing um, we can go check the chickens here. Do we have some eggs? We already have some eggs. Very nice. Look at that. Oh, quite a few eggs, actually. Wow. Okay, that's good. High production chickens. All right, so we'll get some TMR, and uh, we'll see about the... Uh, I'm pretty sure it's got to be a food trigger there for some reason. That's why it would have two triggers for food. Not sure. Unless that's kind of a leftover from PC, but this is Alien Jim off. I'm pretty sure this is like the, um, well, I don't know. It doesn't say, uh, doesn't say what if this is off of his any of his maps or not. Not in the description. It may or may not be. I do not know that. However, what do we got here? Maybe that's supposed to be for. No, I'm not getting anything. Um. Hold on. All oh, right, so I grabbed some bales. Bales. Oh, there we go. It takes bales. Uh, we got, that was grass. Hey, okay. And not straw. So that's bales, grass and hay bales going there. Let's see if the uh, this takes bales. Hmm. Well, that's kind of odd. Well, all right, so there you know. Um, 
that's for grass and hay bales. Uh, if we look here, yeah, there we go, grass and hay now. Of course, TMR does not come in bales, and you can't put silage. They won't eat silage. Can't put silage. So grass and hay bales go in here. Uh, TMR goes uh, over here. That looks quite green. That does not look like TMR. I think it's probably you could put hay bales here too if you want, I suppose. Um, right. Okay, so no straw bales in here. That's odd. Why it would take bales of the two other kinds of bales, but not straw bales. Hmm, curious. How about the pigs? Oh, is it because, wait a minute, the straws, oh, okay. Okay, me dummy, the uh, straw was full. <laughs> it does take bales in the straw. Um, it was just full because I filled it. Duh. Right, okay, so uh, slurry, let's just grab a slurry tank and a trailer for slurry and just make sure those slurry triggers work. Right, we we'll grab our little tank here, go test out those slurry triggers. We have two to test. Uh, we double check the manure on the pig farm and check to see if we got any wool. So we got eggs already. Wool spawn's going to be here. And there we go, we got some wool already. Very nice. Uh, yes. Yes, the Yoast mod is working great. <laughs> All right, let's go uh, grab some slurry, shall we? Let's see how generous this uh, trigger is. And look at that. Very nice. And fills very quickly. I like that. Or at least, well, it's a small tank, but it fills pretty quick. And over to the cows. Make sure that one works. And we're going to have to test the milk one, too. So slurry trigger. Yes, very. Uh, you don't even have to hardly get close to it. That's very nice. We're going to dump this off and check the milk trigger. We should have milk. Uh, yes, we do have some milk. There we go. Um, let's see. I'm going to... After we do this, we're going to just... I'm just going to see what our milk capacity is. See, so have a bit of an idea. It's going to be hard to tell what the slurry capacity is. Now, let's see what we need to do to get the milk trigger. Is this going to... Oh, right. Look at that. Now, I would just say be careful because the slurry trigger is very close to the milk trigger. Uh, but uh, you don't have to go inside or anything. Just right here. That's very nice. All right, so what I'm going to do now is uh, we're just going to, I'm just going to fast forward and see what, uh, so the, the wool and the, uh, the pigs are, don't really supply anything. Uh, we'll see about the chickens and the, what the milk capacity is going forward. So I'll just briefly update you right at the end. So we'll see you in a minute. All right, we're back. So it didn't take too long. And meanwhile, the sheep had been making some wool and the chickens been making eggs. They've kind of ran out of food. But uh, it's been a few days. And if we look at our uh, cows, no, not there, there. Uh, 59,500 liters is the capacity for milk. And if we zip over oh and we've produced some manure as well that's yeah, fair fairly 
generous pile, 84,000. Uh, let's see what our slurry is. Oh, looks like it maxes out at... What is what is that? Three, how many zeros is that? One, two, three, four. So 100,000 liters of slurry. <clears throat> that has maxed out, I guess. So that's the, your, there. There's your capacity for slurry, 100,000 liters, which isn't all that much, actually. And the pig's... Slurry, it's still going. I would imagine they're going to be at 100,000 too, but they have run out of... Well, they still have food. They have water, so it's a little bit slower. Usually the pigs produce all kinds of slurry. They seem to be a little bit slow. I guess it's just there's just not that many of them. Right. Okay, so there you have it. Oh, they're sleeping away. Hey, little piggy. Can't pet them? Uh, probably bite my hand off. <clears throat> right, and there you go. There you go, everybody. That is the Animal Barn Pack by Alien Jim. 23.42 megabytes to download. A nice little pack. Nothing, nothing. They're not huge or not too small. Just kind of like a nice medium size for a medium size type farm. And, um, the access is easy, so it's a nice... Uh, the slot count's a little bit high, but uh, the detail is quite quite there. Really, really sharp detail, actually. Very nice. Um, and there you go. Uh, that's uh, the, the Animal Barn Pack by Indian Jim. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game, so till next time. Bye for now.